It snowed and the roads got plowed. How about that? It can be done, Colorado. The roads are surprisingly decent tonight, thanks to CDOT's Plowzilla, Darth Blader, Snotorious B.I.G., and all of Denver's baby plows for the side streets. The plows were out, and you know, now you can track them online to see when they're going to clear your route. Our Marshall Zellinger went out to check this tracking system's accuracy. 15 minutes ago, third and Inca. There are worse ways to spend a snow day. I mean, instead of being in a car trying to find a snow plow 15 minutes after the city of Denver's snow plow tracker listed its location, I could be Mark Salinger shoveling my dad's driveway live on air for our competitors. This is my son, Mark. Thank you very much, Mark. I really appreciate it. Denver has a plow tracking website. Orange icons are the big boys. Blue icons are the residential plows on pickup trucks. Click on any one icon and you'll see the streets that the truck has plowed. What this page shows, however, is delayed 15 minutes. We created this delay to ensure they were safe so that, um, you know, there was so that basically people weren't tracking down the plows and potentially, you know, doing harm. Um, awkward, though we're not doing harm. We just want to know if the tracking website is accurate. We just have to find a dang plow. Found it. We found a plow at 32nd and Federal. It went across Federal, so now it's going down the name streets. There's a parks and rec plow in front of us, but it, the other plow we're watching is in front of that. And then I want to verify with the city plow tracker. It's going to take 15 minutes, but did the plow do what it what we see it doing? Will that reflect on the map? But we won't know for 15 minutes. While we were following these two plows, the tracker had them nowhere near where we were. But 15 minutes later, yep, they appeared. The blue icon is the big guy. The orange icon is the Parks and Rec pickup truck. It's the pickup truck that for a number of years, Denver did not send out. From 2006 to 2017, residential plows only cleared snow if the forecast was for a foot or more. What we found in 2006 and 2007 is we had a series of storms where we had a snow piling up followed by very cold temperatures and we had deep ice runs. Instead of investing in icebreaker trucks, the city in 2017 changed the criteria for plows to go through residential neighborhoods. If it's going to snow a bit with cold temperatures right after, the residential pickups will likely be out. We felt that they could do what they do best, which is provide a path to the main streets and prevent deep ice ruts. So they did go out in this storm. So that's how we look at each storm now. For next, I'm Marshall Zellinger. So you want to track your Denver plow, 15 minutes after the fact at least, denver.gov, or pardon, pardon me, it's denvergov.org, denvergov.org slash plow tracker. And if the plow does not come to your street, you're always welcome to summon Mark Salinger because he is now done shoveling at the Palatial Salinger Estate.